What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Injustice Charity Cup, a 1v1 six-player tournament. Uh, with me today to co-cast co all the games is Aurelius. Hey, guys. How's it going? We're all on Discord. Um, and we're going to start off the day with the Civilization Draft that you can see on stream. What's up, Gluttony? Hey there. Um... Yeah, well, I have the looks, but Aurelius definitely has the voice. Aurelius is the sexiest voice in the Age of Empires community, no doubt. Um, Gluttony, you're trying to show off how great your voice is. And when we do start the Civilization Draft, if all the players want to jump into um, voice chat, you guys should all be able to get into the very important talk channel on my Discord. So let's take a look real quick at the um, different players and how the Civ Draft is going to go down. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So I we have the schedule up here on the screen right now, and I'm going to put the scorecard up there. So if we look at the Phase 2 draft, this is the order on the right here that players are going to be um, drafting in. So Saro, this is kind of a random order. We have Saro Kern, um, very big fan of Tatters. Do you know anything else about Saro Aurelius? Do I know anything else about Cero? Um, Share all. What, are, are we PG thirteen here? Uh, is it X rated? <laughs> I get to uh, He's one of my closest friends in the community. Uh, we both we both met randomly. I'm not sure where. It could have been a community game somewhere, uh, and I didn't know anything about him. He didn't know anything about me, and we sort of started playing more and more. Uh, and I started to discover insane shit about him. He's a science educator. Uh, at one point, he was two K in chess and not online chess, right? Like table chess in the field mm -hmm. um and uh, he's been grinding a shit ton he's become a caster himself uh and the level of detail that he attends to his knowledge about the game has been you know increasingly uh getting better over time he's a, he's a really great guy really great player uh and uh not to uh offend anyone i'm rooting for him to lose oh lose okay interesting you guys are that good <laughs> kappa, friends <laughs> Um, yeah, Sarah, I just know he loves the Tatters on his YouTube channel. He has two, he different, two different introductions or build orders on how to play Tatters. And he uh, casts some high-level games with excellent commentary as well. Um, if you guys sure. want to post his channel in the chat as well. So he's going to have first pick today. Um, then we have Baskets, shorthand for I Love Baskets. Uh, he He's in chat right now. I don't really know how to introduce Baskets. Well, how do you introduce someone who uh, who who saves people's lives for a living, uh, bakes, cooks, uh, plays the game at a high level, is incredibly sweet, um, and uh, yeah, like like how long do we have? Like, I think we could talk about this for quite some time. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I just oh, I, oh, oh, I oh, want oh, to bring oh, up oh, banana oh, bread. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, banana bread, but also like anyone in chat because we have to keep people comfortable here do not ask baskets what constitutes a sandwich this is we want to keep things like lighthearted today, so. <laughs> yeah for sure for sure or don't ask him as well what his doc hotkeys are because uh mm -hmm. good thing we don't have mm -hmm. any water maps in the map pool right now mm -hmm. it's all arabia um he refuses to set any doc hotkeys uh next up is gluttony shorthand tony uh probably the strongest player in the set everyone's looking to to hit him hard the interesting thing about this, um, what is it called? The Civ, uh, Civ Draft is each civilization can only be picked once. So let's say Cero picks Aztecs first round. Aztecs are blacked out right here. No one else can pick them. Baskets picks Huns. And then slowly, you know, once we get down to these bottom ones, Tony's Lot Civ might be, I don't know, what are you thinking? Maybe Portuguese, if they really get down to Portuguese. Right. You know, if Gluttony picks Portuguese against um, against Gloriaz in the first round because he's thinking he, he has a bigger advantage against Gloriaz than everyone else, um, then, you know, Gloriaz might have a better chance than that. So because we have this kind of silly, not silly, but interesting Civ matchup potential, we could have some upsets for sure. sure. For sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the players here have to sort of, you know, do a trade-off. Like, do I want the worst Civ now against a player who I might be better than? And if so, what happens to me in later stages of, of the tournament, for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the pick order for the players asking in chat is this uh, right-hand side. So we have Cerro, Baskets, Gluttony, Brahio, Erblim, Gloriaz. 
and uh, we'll we'll pick one at a time, and then you switch order. So it's A B C D E, and then E D C B A in terms of order. So Gloria is, is last in the first round, but you'll be the first in the second round to pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Brohio is saying, I go weak sieve for gluttony, easy game for me. Interesting, Brohio. I like the confidence. Um, yeah, gluttony, definitely a strong player. I haven't played too many games with them. Usually it's team games because 1v1, he claps me too hard. And then next up we have Brohio. Might be the weakest player in the link um, in, the, in the tournament, but he makes some excellent games all the same. Um... Yeah, I Brahio, whenever I play against Brahio, it's just excellent games. Yesterday for another tournament or yeah, another tournament we were trying out um what was it? Something Canyon. And so a map neither of us had played, but we both jumped in trying out a few different sieves. All the hunt was in the middle, so we were thinking of Goths or Berbers. Um neither of us went Mongols, but whatever. <laughs> we'll get there. And yeah, it was just so much fun against him. We had a really tight game. And he, of course, was the co-caster, and he was the one who came up with the Sabaro tournament idea. So really great yeah, here. And yeah. this entire XL spreadsheet that we're using right now is so is just the spreadsheet I copied and pasted from Sabaro. He came right. up with all these metrics. So yeah, my uh, my uh, first uh, interaction with Brohio was a three v three. He was pocket, uh, and this was like maybe a year ago, months ago, probably something around then. And holy shit, he carried like a beast. And I'm thinking we found ourselves another Kamigawa or something. Another <laughs> For sure. uh, it turns out he wasn't as high rated. He was like our level at the time. And mm -hmm. since then, he's just improved tremendously. And of course, you know, uh, he's 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 the father of Little Faremba. So enough said, I think. About right. That. So, yeah, we we've renamed um, Brahio's child to Faremba and his dog to Mahoots. So he's definitely a diehard Age of Empires fan. <clears throat> And Brevin says Brahio has the cutest child. I mean, yes, I haven't seen Sarah's have... child yet, but I'm willing to believe it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gluttony. <laughs> I was using that as an example. You don't actually have Portuguese already. We have to nerf you ahead of time. Um, so, Airblim. I actually what? don't know. What were you going to say? Oh, no. Uh, we glossed over Gluttony, though. We didn't say much about him. I don't know much about him. Please share. Okay. Yeah, well, Gluttony um, uh, plays for the Norwegian team. Uh, he's done that before um, in Nations Cups with Nations Cup with uh, uh, Viper and MBL. Uh, he's currently playing for them in the in the AOE Olympics. Uh, he quite literally is one of the best players in Norway and also one of the top players in the world. Uh, he's part of CDL, which are this high level uh, team. You saw part of them in the Boa Cup. If you saw the Send It Mate uh, team, the, the majority of them were CDL players. He's also someone who's worked a lot of very hard on getting a lot of players better at this game. He gives a lot of his time and energy uh, to make us better. And some of the people today playing are um, people who have benefited greatly from his training and his education and age. One of them, myself, of course, Sero too. Uh, we'll play a lot of 1v1s against them. We'll play team games with them. He'll help us with build order strategy, saves, you name it. Uh, so basically, uh, in my view, uh, he, he may not like me saying this, but I think he quite literally is an AOE god. Nice. Yeah, that's always nice to hear. I mean, everyone that's playing today, except for Airblim, just because I haven't interacted with him too much, has all helped me incredibly just improve at the game. So shout outs to all of them for sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, so when you guys are ready, we do have a few. We, I have to still touch on Airblim and Goyaz, but um, if you guys want to jump into chat with us, and uh, we'll start the Civ draft in just a moment. So, do you know much about Airblim? I don't, but I've faced him in team games a few times randomly, and everything I've seen from him has been super solid. Yeah, I've seen a few team uh, games from him. Yeah. And yeah. that's exactly... I mean, it was all recent stuff, but he seems to be on on the same level as all these other players. Um, sure. But I, I, sure. it'll be a surprise for me to see what civilizations he picks... What kind of strategies yeah. he goes for? If he goes meta, if he goes yeah, like yeah. Dragon Star all in Castle Age, something here. For sure, it just it's difficult because all the players you have listed here, um, I know them very well. One v one, team games, whatever. Air Bloom, I don't know him that well, and I've only seen him in team games. So I know a lot of players 
are really good at team games, but really crappy at 1v1 or not as good as they are in team games. So I'm actually quite curious to see how he performs in a, in a 1v1 setting. Mm -hmm. For sure. And then Gloriaz. Gloriaz and Baskets had a show match. Um, it was the first real anything that I hosted. It was a, I think it was a best of nine show match with a few different maps and maybe like a hundred dollar price pool or something. But it was just something fun for me to organize and put together for the community. Um, yeah. And yeah, he's he has his own channel. And uh, oh, it was all nine game plays, Basket says. <laughs> it took forever. That was like back in the day where I didn't really realize how long nine games was. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goya says his eyes still hurt from that. But it was it was fun matches anyways. They were titanicing at the end, which made it more interesting for me. So I think we have all the players in chat now with us. Yo, yo! Let's do this. <laughs> Hello. Hi, yo. That's good. Bro, you um, have the funniest comments in Twitch chat. That's, <laughs> That's what he's known for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys can either just uh, say your sieve in the show, in the chat, the general chat or whatever chat. Oh, Goyas, I didn't put you in here. There we go. Um, or you can do it in voice chat as well. Either one works. Can, can we write it as well, just to yeah. like help keep track? For sure, it would be it would be helpful. Yeah, and then the draft results will also be on the the last page here. Oh, I need to delete all these. Are you going to delete the sips from the list as they get drafted? It it does it automatically because Brohio's a god at XL. Oh, Brohio! It'll show Dude. black on the list. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so we'll have that. Mm -hmm. Where is that? So, Sarah, you got first pick. Uh, I'm going full Luca Mayans. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you can see it's black on the list now. Where is this list, by the way? Yeah. Um, if you take exclamation mark score okay. in chat, I'll do it. Oh, perfect. And that's for viewing only, hopefully. And Bastards oh, are up next. I go Britons. Britons. We're going for the Archer Sivs first. <clears throat> Tony? Mm. I go Chinese. Excellent. Uh, Gluttony, if you want, we can do a real quick session. I can help you on the build order. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking knew Gluttony would end up with Chinese. I was like, should I pick it? I was like, yeah, he's going to pick it if I don't. It's fine. <laughs> Enjoy your minds. Okay. I'll just pick God's. <laughs> <laughs> the counter pick. Uh, I'll go. What do we got? Mine's Britain's Chinese. I will go. Kamer. Kamer, nice. Um, by the way, if anyone wins with Malians, I'll give them a sub to the channel. Just <laughs> that out there. Colin, no one's picking Malians. There's 30 subs that are getting drafted. Yeah. We're gonna end up with this. Yeah, oh, unless you want Portuguese or Italian. I guess Italian isn't worst. Airblim, you're up next. I'll take Aztecs. Aztecs, nice choice. So yeah, I think probably. this is the same um, ranking that we had civilizations for Sabaro, Brahio. So. I, I literally have that sheet up. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty good sheet. Well, I asked really for the sheet up, which I try to find the uh, the scores that we provided. So oh, I it's on AOE song. zone. Yeah. Yeah. Goyaz, you got two picks. I go. I go Persians and Franks. Oh, the Cavs. Oh, is. strong. Yeah, strong cavalry sets here. Cavs in twenty twenty. I know, right? <laughs> Lizzie, if you don't, if you don't <laughs> boom, if you don't boom out of your mind, I'll never talk to you again. Okay, I, I expect at least one seventy villagers each game <laughs> and five castles. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, if you go throwing axemen, I start singing the national anthem, French national anthem. That's what happens. Airbloom, okay, your pick. Yeah. Um, Ethiopians. Ethiopians. I'll go Vikings. Vikings, I like it. Honestly, bro, I think Vikings may be a bit stronger than Khmer. Yeah, they could be. I, I have something planned for Khmer. Oh, 16 oh, pop boy. scouts. <laughs> yeah, I like I it. <laughs> I want the uh, Lithuanians. Ah, you fucker. <laughs> I'm surprised at that one. Taking my sieve. Hey, no one picked tatters yet. I think you misspelled tatters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it's my second sieve. I want Celts. Celts. Oh, I'm excited for that one. Oh, I, I, was li I was literally going to pick Lithuanians in this spot right now. I have to. I have to make a whole new plan. 
Um, <laughs> I really, I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna go for it. I'll just update um, your, your draft board. <laughs> uh, um, let's go. Uh, I guess let's go. Slavs. Tatars. There we go. Um, there they are, and there they are. Colin, can you scroll down a little bit? Oh, to see what's picked? Yeah. I'll just zoom out for this part and zoom back in. If that's still visible. Yeah, that works. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. so Basket mm. left, you have um, Portuguese. Turks. Wait, there was something I was going to take. Uh, Gloth is still available, guys. <laughs> Burmese are out there. Oh, yeah, no, I actually I do want Goths. Alright. I like. Nice. Wow, well, Basket's oh, picking oh. Goths before Huns in 2020. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, was, like how the yeah, season yeah, changed. Yeah, pretty funny. The world has really changed. So. Yeah, chat, something I, didn't, something I didn't mention before. <laughs> Wait, what did you say CA is Goths? Let's, let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Baskets was all about the Huns Wars um, in Vubly days. Got to get heavy cover, I'm sure. Really? Okay. We have, we have Chinese, Lithuanians. Um, all Tutans. Tutans. I thought they'd be oh, my boy. best pick. I wanted them, though. I'll go Mongols. Nice. For Ohio picking all fast cab sips. It's like I go 18 pop, it doesn't matter what sips. <laughs> <laughs> Take Japanese. Japanese. I love this format, by the way. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's so much fun seeing all the sips get that have been picked as well. Everyone gets some play and yeah. Get to strategy. Um, Hans and Incas. Hans. Ugh. You, you feel good about your Nobu rush, Koyas? I'm gonna do the pony, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I bet you're thanking me now, Gluttony, for the game from this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go Guts, but Baskets ruined it. <laughs> Air Balim. There's a lot of good sips in this game, huh? There really are. Yeah. It's a good balance like, right now. I want all the sips you guys have, <laughs> even though I like my own. Bike working? No, no, now it is. Oh, okay. Berbers, sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Berbers. Hey, Berbers. Um... I feel like I should stick with my theme, right? 16 pop. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will go. Indians. There we go. Okay. I'll go business. Oh, cancer. Let me look at your Civ picks again, uh, Zero. Uh, I want Vietnamese. Actually, I can't say that your Civs are country yet. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Basket? Uh, Vietnamese. Oh, sorry, Mr. Dia. Beeper! Vietnamese. What's up, Beeper? Yeah. Thanks for the sub. That's just the genius plan of going both Goths and Vietnamese, so you can't <laughs> counter with Vietnamese. Yeah, anyway. I'm done with it. <laughs> like I go Britons and Vietnamese, and I also pick Goths. Just, you know, yeah. <laughs> no counters. We're going for glory plays today. Glorious plays, mm. okay. Glorious plays. Wow, it's like I, I I know like people would be shocked that Malians aren't picked now, but I just I hate playing Malians. Man. <laughs> no, it is <laughs> tough sieve once you come to imp. No one's gonna take Malay for low hab. Um, I was actually thinking about doing that, like pu purely for purely for low hab and also nice. Malay work now. So yeah, I can't wait to fuck up his eco by going Malay. <laughs> That's everybody's just like, oh, I don't. They're supposed to be good, but I just can't. <laughs> um, okay, I go. 
I'm going to go, I guess, Magyars. Damn it. And... <sighs> I'll go Malay. Nice. Magyars. And... Malay, all right. Is there anything left at the bottom? I think just Vikings, no, right? No, it's just Vikings underneath, yeah. Adile, thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you, Adile. Adile says, Adile owns Aurelius. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hey, Adile. Hey, you key fuck bro. <laughs> he also says more charity events in AOE community, please, and I agree. I think I'll take, I'll take well, if, yeah, if I can just and sorry interrupt briefly the the draft. Uh, Adal, as you guys may or may not know, he's one of the first people to actually do a charity stream for Age of Empires two, uh, and it was karaoke, and we all got super embarrassed, but I won one, so I don't care. <laughs> But in any case, uh, I'm glad that uh, we're continuing that tradition. Uh, it's a wonderful community with so many generous people, uh, and it's great when we come around to actually give to good causes. So mm -hmm. thanks, Adele, for the road you set for us that we're trying to keep walking on. Mm -hmm. For sure. Off the chat, if you message me about doing these drafts that you want, I will do them if you donate. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Basket, give him the gift. Can I also do nice. that, Basket, when we're playing? Yes. The chat? Yeah, you can see what's going on. No, no, but when I'm playing basket, so oh, oh yeah, request yeah, yeah. this chat. <laughs> uh, okay. CCA is good. Tony, do you have your next pick? Yeah, I'm trying to think, man. Like, yeah. Koreans. Koreans aren't half bad, actually. Oh, I think they're actually. I was, I was thinking about Koreans instead of Malay, but Lohab was here, I'm so pretty sure Koreans actually have the lowest win rate on Arabia right now. Well, it's because people don't know how to use them. Yeah, and they're if not played so. much. Saracens. Mm. Baskets pick Saracens. So. Oh, I'm a new co-caster, sorry. <laughs> no worries. I like Bulgarians are underrated here. All right, we got one strat already. I want the uh, Italians. <gasps> Italians, okay. I like that. It's pretty metal. I'll take Bulgarians. There we go. For I saw all of Dragon Star's strats with Bulgarians, he knows how to play. <laughs> yeah. I will play just like Dragon Star. Oh god. So we have Airbloom, you have Turks, Spanish, Portuguese, Malians, Koreans, Cumans, Burmese. She's gonna take Malians. That's the spirit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Malians. So Malians aren't bad, especially in Cal State, they're pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. And Goryaz. Hmm. Yeah, Spanish. Yeah, I think Spanish is the best there. You don't have to Can go Can you conks. imagine Spanish being taken 30th at this point? That's yeah, right? crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's just because we think conks, and conks aren't as strong anymore. Well, there's just no eco bonus Cubans if you're playing well. knights. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cubans could be fun as well. But... True, true. All right, so if we look at the scorecard, the first area, let me just put the schedule up on stream. So there's our schedule. Um, Brahio and Cerro Kern are our first matches of the day. So, Brahio, why don't you host? Okay. And uh, yeah, we can start from there. Maps are all Arabia, LG, yes, as indicated by the map pool here. Arabia, 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 Arabia. If the only map better than Arabia is Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> And while right, Brahio, good luck, have fun, guys. I'm gonna uh, leave yeah, the uh, good voice. luck, have fun to you both. Uh, good. Yeah, thank you so much. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> it's not YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. See you on the other side, Brio, for your yeah. your winning interview at the end. Exactly. <laughs> oh God, baskets. Oh man. Oh yeah, I'm excited. These drafts. So, what do you think of the draft so far? Do you think anyone got any crazy good sieves? Rahio, if you're still out uh, there listening to the stream, I'd love it if you could update the draft results thing because you did it really quickly last time and I'm not sure how you did it. Is there a place I can click uh, a link to see it? Because I'm, yeah. I'm not able to. Let me put score in chat. Oh, wait. Oh, I can you post in Discord? Yeah, I'll post in Discord. All right. I think this is the right link. I'll just copy this. There you go. All right, perfect. Thank you. So yeah, I mean, let's see, 
Saros got Mayans, Slavs, Tatters, Magyars, Malay. Those all seem pretty solid. Um, Malay is definitely the weakest of the bunch, but you know they still have potential there. Um, and it's a good, it's a it's a range of sieves as well, in terms mm -hmm. of like what they go for. Baskets has Britons, Celts, Goths, Vietnamese, Saracens. So let me show chat this. Um, Britons, Celts, Goths. So that's like he went for the archer sieve as they were saying, and then he went for all of the anti archer sieves, and then Saracens is interesting it's definitely has it's well-rounded but not very strong is what, how i put it um obviously you should have picked mollians instead mollians definitely the better sieve there um let's see who else gluttony chinese lithuanians teutons byzantines italians i'm yeah kind of, i think uh yeah. yeah i think gluttony has chosen some really good sieves, and i know for a fact he knows how to work with them really well yeah right chinese I'd argue best 1v1 Civ on Arabia, as long as you can survive Dark Age. Lithuanians, really smooth start, and you yeah. can just carry any advantages. Teutons, sure. really strong in Feudal Age, Castle Age with those cheap farms. Um, not super well-rounded, but you know they have gotten a lot of buffs, so I'm sure he can make use of them. Byzantines, I'm surprised he picked that high, but you know they're still good 1v1 Arabia, if since you can go trash. Um, without an issue unlike team games where trash could be an issue uh -huh. and then italians i mean just straightforward archer civ i guess a little bit faster yeah. to go up yeah thanks for all the follows guys welcome welcome as hero would say um brohio okay so brohio's pick of Khmer surprised me a little bit i think he went for it because we had it high rated in sabaro um, right. when we were ranking civs but Khmer. The eco bonus isn't crazy strong on an open map. It's a bit better. I think Vikings is a much better eco bonus. And I guess they do have a lot of options, but I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. I haven't, I've haven't. seen a lot of 1v1 Khmer more recently in tournaments, and they never seem to outshine other civs like some of these other top tier civs can do. Yeah, yeah. Mongols I like, especially if you can get to Mangadai and micro them. Uh, I played a Mongol War against Brahao in a tournament recently, and I won just by a little bit, just because I had a few more Mangadai numbers, but I know he definitely knows how to play Mongols well. Indians, I think he can play well. He has a very, like, it's not a boomy strategy, but he definitely emphasizes macro over micro, which I think is very similar to myself, and your and you as well, <laughs> with your 5TC booms. And then Bulgarians is just exciting for me. I love seeing Bulgarians, because they're like the break the meta sieve for me yeah. and they can do it well it's not like other civs where you have to break the meta just because you're at a disadvantage bulgarians do it well with the crepost yeah. Yeah. um Blim, aztecs ethiopians japanese berbers Malians. so a wide range of civs he's got the meso civ in there he's got archer civs he's got cav civs i i really actually like this pick like all these sieves, sieves actually seem pretty solid. Not a ton of eco. No, there's some eco bonuses in there. Yeah. Uh, for your fellow noob co-caster and other noobs out there, how does it work in in terms of like, because uh, you know some of these sieves are amazing, but against each other, one person will clearly have an advantage. So, how does it work in terms of like when they get to get chosen, that sort of thing? I'm yeah. a little confused on those details. So it's actually any order. So um, any this, order. Okay. Yeah, this first game we could have Brohio right. pick um, Vikings versus Saro who picks Malay. Right. Um, right. And I, yeah, I'd yeah. still probably okay. favor yeah. Saro in that matchup, even though he has the weaker sieve. Yeah. Sorry, Lohab. But um, yeah, I, I think so. And then Gloria's had the last pick, but he got Persian, Franks, Huns, Incas, Spanish. So. Still solid sieves, and he went with a lot of cav sieves, and then Incas, just For so sure. he can <laughs> Noboru sure. rush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, anyone listening, I wouldn't necessarily think that Incas is definitely doing that. I would say scout and be sure. Uh, yeah. They have a wide variety of options. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Oh my gosh, we're already halfway up to our goal. <laughs> Almost halfway to our goal. You guys wow. are nuts. Um, wow. So let me throw, before we start up, let me throw the um, the rewards for the different hours. 
So we have first two games the first hour, and the reward there is I will match all donations up to one hundred fifty dollars. So I'm pretty much just going to donate one hundred fifty dollars. I'm going to do it after the stream just so I have time, um, so I'm not casting and taking up your time donating. But yeah, I'll be donating an extra one hundred fifty dollars on top of my five dollars just to see how the system <laughs> worked out. Um, let me take a look at who donated real quick and see if there's any messages for me. Austin says, let's go banana boy. That's reluctant in chat. Sarah's all right too. Anonymous, Zoomwalt is rooting for baskets. Perfect. And, uh, ProHio says, good luck, have fun. LG says, oh boy. Don't make, LG, please, don't make me repeat that. He says, go... Niri Atad Leat. That's my best. Ah, uh, that's beautiful, LG. That yes. really hit me right here, man. Yeah, if I knew what that meant, it hit me even harder, but I appreciate yeah. it. Anyways, it shows yeah. how diverse our community is. It's not just a US sure. community, um, but it's nice to see all these different people coming out to support the cause of social justice. Really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, just let me know when I need to update the refresh the goal page. It doesn't refresh automatically. Probably should have set that up beforehand, but um, Fantas, you can always donate five more dollars, and I'll read the message as well. <laughs> um, and I actually don't know who uh, I don't know who donated that big chunk. Actually, I should be able to see it as well um, while Brohio and Sarah are setting up their match. Um, let's see. Oh, we had two hundred dollars from Anonymous. There's all our donors so far. Um, that goes um, off screen, I realize, <laughs> but um, yeah, just loads of loads wow. of donations. Really appreciate it, guys. Really warms my heart. And then we'll we'll add one hundred fifty dollars for myself um, once we finish the stream. So top donor is anonymous, which I think was. Um, well, I guess there's no there's no bonus for top donor. For this hour, it's just that I'm in a match. But the, for the next hour, the highest donor gets free coaching in a five-part series. Um, so, if if you want that, um, be sure to donate in the next next hour. That'll be after game two.